Hey everybody. Okay, so I just channeled the sweetest gay love story. I have to tell you guys about it. Um, for those that are looking for a third party update, I might do another third party video. I might not, but just check my channel. Um, if I don't do it today, then I'm, I'll probably do another one tomorrow. Um, cause I did just do a third party video that's being posted around the same time as this video. And then I might do another third party video today, but if not, then, then yeah, check back tomorrow. But, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry right now. This is like the sweetest gay love story. Okay. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I primarily, um, I primarily channel. I pull cards, you know, to get a visual and get more details on what's going on. But a lot of times my spirit guides just communicate with me and just tell me, hey, this is, this is what's happening. Um, so I was actually planning on doing a third party reading, but my, one of my spirit guides was like, no, wait a second. This is actually more important. This person needs to see this. And I'm going to cry because this was like, this is true love. This is a gay couple. I'm seeing two men. I mean, this could be a lesbian connection. I'm you know, maybe it is, maybe, maybe there's two stories here, but I'm feeling like the main story here is for two men. I feel like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I love, I love gay men more than life itself. I, I swear, like I am such a pushover for gay men. I just, I love gay men so much. And what I picked up was that this couple broke up because of a toxic father figure or uncle I believe it was someone that the other partner was living with or someone that kind of brainwashed him, kind of gaslit him his whole life. I'm getting like Bible Belt energy. So I'm feeling like these people are religious. I don't know if they're actually like down south. And and don't get me wrong. There's there are some really good Christians out there. There are really good Christians that are actually Christ-like. And then there are Christians that are not Christ-like at all. There are Christians who are just basically demons in human bodies pretending to be Christians, you know, they actually, I mean, I don't want to get too much into that, but, but there's, um, there's actually a lot of darker spirits, like, uh, like demonic spirits that come to earth in human bodies and pretend to be Christian to turn people away from the divine and from their spirit guides and from these higher vibrational energies. So, you know, and this is this is that case where this is someone that's actually pushing people away from from God or from what you know from love from from good energy. But um, but anyway, oh my gosh, this love story is so beautiful. This man is crying right now over you. It might be a long time since you guys have talked. I don't know how long it's been, but they want you to know that you changed them, that you made them a stronger person, and they have so much regrets right now. I would honestly forgive this person. If this is your story, and I'm going to pull cards to get more into it. Um, check back on my channel if this video cuts into two because my, my camera phone, I'm still trying to figure out my camera phone. Um, sometimes it cuts the videos in half, so please check back on my channel if this, you know, suddenly cuts out. But um, but the, the energy I get is that there was a homophobic man. This man was very macho. This is, I believe this is like a father figure or an uncle. This man is super macho. This man, this man calls, oh my gosh, it makes me so mad. This man calls gay men, you know, F the, the, I don't even want to say it. I hate that word. They, they call them a very derogatory word. Um, this, I see like someone with like, I don't know if it's the energy or an actual visual of this person, but I get a man like, like a man that hits his wife kind of energy goes to church on Sundays and then comes home and beats the shit out of his wife You know might be divorced at this point. Actually. I get a man that like drinks beer and, and watches football with the guys on Sundays and after church or whatever and just has a beer belly It's that kind of energy like I don't know if that's actually something the person does But it's just that's just giving you an idea of what kind of person this guy is So this man was very macho and I feel like he convinced your person to leave you. He convinced your person. I mean, he he basically said he might have threatened this person. I feel like for some, I don't know. I feel like this is only a one couple, actually. But I guess there could be two couples here, you know. But I'm feeling it's a very small energy group. Um, but I'm feeling like, I feel like your person, your person did not want to leave you. Your person wants you to know, like, they had no desire to leave you. This this man might have, this man bullied them. I think that they held something over their head. Like, I think that they, maybe this is someone that lived with their father and their father. Um, I don't know if it's a father or uncle. It's just, it's an older male figure that's super macho, super incredibly toxic. 
And this man might have threatened to kick your true love out. This person's like, this is like your potential life partner. This is like soulmate twin flame energy, you know? So I would forgive this person if I were you. Honestly, they have so much regret. They just, they love you so much. Like I just, just channeling this energy. It's so sweet. But I feel like they didn't have a place to go. And so they, um, they stayed because they, they didn't want to be homeless or I'm feeling, I don't know. I don't know what it is for sure. I'm just getting the energy of like being threatened. Like they were like, like maybe they had something on them. Like they told, you know, the community or something. Like they were going to, they were going to tell everyone at church or something that they had an STD or that they did this or that. Like they held something against him. Th this... <laughs> He knew, this father figure knew how much this man loved you. He knew how much he loved you and he couldn't stand it. He wanted a son that was macho and toxic and a, and a wife beater just like him. He wanted his son, I'm getting he wanted his son to do a very macho job too. Like like his son was more into um, like something that would be considered more feminine by society. Like design or fashion or like photography or just something fun. Like something something because I just hear him saying that job is for pussies like oh my god it makes me so mad but I, I feel like yeah like he was into like fashion or he was into something that's typically considered more feminine and this macho guy is like I feel like he's like he's in a line of work that's considered very masculine very macho and he wanted his son to follow in his footsteps you know and he was pissed that he has a gay son he's basically mad about that it's so sad it's so sad. And he kept trying to win his father's approval for a while. But I think in the end, he was ready to stand up for you because he loves you so much. But I feel like at the last minute, his father threw something at him. Like his father was like, his father might have said, like, I'm going to beat his ass or I'm going to beat your ass if you, if you don't, if you don't leave him. Or I'm going to kick you out on the street and disown you. I'm going to make everyone in, in this town disown you. Like, it's, this man is toxic. This man is dark. This is like a demon soul in a human body. This man beats women, too. This man beats the shit out of women. Um, if he is married, he beats it. He, he hurts his wife. His wife needs help in getting out of that situation. This is a bad energy. But, um, but your person loves you so much, and they're just, they're crying right now over you. They cry regularly over you, and they're like, oh, my God, you are my person. I am so sorry. I was so stupid. And honestly, I would forgive them if I were you because this is a situation where it's like they were gaslit. They were abused. I'm not saying it's okay that they didn't choose you, but like they this this. OK, imagine just being abused and beaten down by your father or your uncle for your entire life. You know what I mean? Like they wanted everything. Every part of them wanted to break out of that, but they just they couldn't in the moment. They something something changed. And they, they were just exhausted and they realized pretty quickly on like what a mistake they made. You know, they, they know that you are the love of their life. They know they're never going to find anybody like you. I'm going to cry. This love story is so sweet. You guys are, st I feel like if this is for you, I feel like you guys are still going to end up, like you're meant to end up together. This person's afraid of coming in though, because I think it's been a long time. This might be like a few years since you guys have talked. Like this might be like. They're thinking about you now and they're like, like, it's, it's the connection you had was that special. Like, even if you haven't talked in like three years, this person is like, like, you're the one, you know what I mean? Like, like you guys might have like, you, you would just watch movies on the couch and like goof around together. And just the way you would look at each other. Like I see his, like, like a light in your eyes and his eyes. Like, this is like, this is the true love. This is like something so rare. Most people don't ever have something like this. Like, this is just so beautiful. This is just, like, this is, like, the kind of love you can go three years without talking and you still love them just as much as, as you did the day you were together. You know what I mean? It's like this person hasn't forgotten about you. This person probably dated other people and tried to forget about you, but they never forgot about you. Um, you know, if, for, if it's been a while since you guys have talked, this energy is like, oh, my gosh. Oh, this energy. Oh, it's so sweet. I mean, it's sad, but it's so sweet. But they, they want you to know that they, um, they they did stand up to this toxic man finally. They couldn't, they threatened to turn the whole family. They, they threatened something. They threatened to like turn the whole family or they threatened to hurt you or they threatened to hurt them. 
Because I'm getting that your person is like, they're not like small, small, but like they're small in comparison to this guy. I mean, this guy is like macho and like they didn't want to in the moment. I just see like disappointment and sadness. I feel like this is, I'm getting like suburban, suburbia kind of energy, like a, or like just, just like, oh, what are the neighbors going to say? You know, like that, like that kind of, that kind of person, like that kind of energy. Um... I'm getting he really misses, like, there was, there was, I see you guys, like, cuddling on the couch and blankets, and, like, he misses that so much. He said, like, he says that he's never felt more at home than he did. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to cry. It's like, because I, I feel the energy. It's like, I'm, you know, I'm, I really want to know who this is. Like, please, even just if you email me and tell me who you are, I'm just so curious. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's so sweet. But I'm getting you guys are like wearing like onesies or it's just something very cute and very sweet and very innocent. And like the way you talk to each other is like open, honest, like best friends, like like you guys communicated so well. Like it was just such a gentle, pure, loving relationship where it's like when he had something serious to say to you, it's like you guys would hold each other's hands and sit on the couch and like talk and be like, baby, like, like you know, this is what's going on. Like, can you tell me how you feel? Like just such an amazing connection. Like, and there's something about like the couch, like, like cuddling, watching movies or talking. Like, I'm just seeing like how close you guys felt. Like, this is just true love. This is just so pure. This is so, and this destroyed you. I know when this person left, you did not expect it. Like you, I feel like he said, like, I'm going to stand up to my dad. I'm going to cut, I'm going to you know, I'm going to do this for us. And then like, maybe he went back home and then, you know, something hot, like his dad threatened something is what I'm feeling. Or like, maybe he always lived with his dad. I'm, cause I'm just getting that something happened where there was like some kind of threat made and he left you. For some, his dad might've threatened to come after you. And he knew that if he told you that, that you would fight for him because you knew that you guys were twin flames and this is, this is like, this is like, you guys have been together in like your pot. Like, this is like, most people don't ever have this kind of love. This is like true love. Like most people spend their lives wanting something like this. Like, I'm just, I'm going to cry just tuning into your connection. It's just so pure. The way you guys looked at each other, the way you guys talk to each other. It's just like, there's nothing that compares that. It's just so gentle too. So I get you guys like goofing around together. Like there wasn't very many arguments with you guys. And when you did have an argument, one of you would like apologize. Like, and you guys were just, you were so cuddly and so loving with each other. It's so sweet. But I feel like, I don't know, there was some kind of threat. Like, I feel like he threatened to ruin his reputation or yours. Maybe you had a good job and like, maybe this guy threatened, maybe, maybe this toxic father figure threatened to come after you or physically hurt you or something. Because I feel like this person is like, they wanted to marry you. Like, you guys were married or, like, they wanted to marry you. Like, some of them were thinking about it. Like, they were, like, you know, wanting to look at rings. Like, they were wanting to surprise you and take you on a trip and propose to you. Um, but I'm feeling like, like, maybe, and I'm just, I'm not 100% sure what the threat was, but I'm thinking, because I just, I tune into the energy and I'm like, why would this person ever, like, because they, why would they leave you? They must have had something really in major on them, like something really big. I'm wondering if maybe this guy threatened to hurt you and your person didn't tell you. It was like the one time your person didn't communicate with you and they just shut down and just left um, or ghosted you or broke up with you or, what, or whatever. And like, that was like the one time where you were just like, dude, I thought I was going to marry this person. Like you were heartbroken, but it was the one time where they did not communicate openly and health, health and like in a healthy way, like they usually do. But I'm feeling like maybe he threatened to come after you, which would make sense because he wouldn't, your person, your true love would not want to tell you that because he knows that you would you would go fight for him. Like if you guys lived in like different states or whatever the situation might be, he knows that you would show up at the door and be like, you know what, you're not tearing us apart. Like he would fight for him with everything that you had in you. Like he knew that. And he was so afraid. Like this guy might have a shotgun. This guy might have a gun in his closet. He, this guy might've been like, I'm going to go kill that. You know what I mean? Like he might've said some shit and you know, your person couldn't lose you. Your person was terrified. So your person, or he, he threatened to beat you up or he threatened to get you fired. I'm feeling something like that possibly. Um, but yeah, your person knew that if he told you the truth that you would fight for him. And he was so afraid that this man would beat you up and hurt you. So he lied and he just pretended like he, you know, 
like he he just got over it or he pretend he just said you know what I can't do this just something very short and you were just confused I'm getting like because I'm getting before that you guys were thinking about marriage like one one or both of you were thinking like this is like true love this is amazing I'm never letting this go this is like such this is like best friends this is like this is so beautiful um this is just so beautiful this energy um you know what? I don't, I, I usually pull cards, but I mean, I channel, like I'll pull cards for you guys, honestly, but sometimes I just, sometimes I just get all the information. Like I just, my spirit guides just tell me. So a lot of times I don't need to pull the cards, but I mean, I will, cause I know you guys like to see the cards. Like I'll probably do that in future videos, but I mean, I don't feel like they're necessary right now because my spirit guides are just telling me everything right now. So I mean, you know, what's the point of the cards, but, um, but yeah, in future videos, I will pull some more cards. But, um, but, oh my gosh, this energy is like, this person is like, I made the biggest mistake of my life. Like I should have, I should have called the police or I should have done something like, like I'm like, they're crying. They're like crying. Even if it's been three years since you guys have talked and you'll know, because it would have been this kind of connection where you guys were like, just so in love where you would just like look at each other and like start tearing up, like start crying. Like, like you never felt that before. He had never felt that before. This is like. Like, you guys knew how rare it was. You guys had such a good connection. Like, you guys just told each other everything, all of your secrets. You held nothing back from each other. This is like, and when you guys, the rare instance that you did get in an argument, you guys cleared it up. Like, I just see you guys holding hands. Like, you just had such a, just, vul I just get, like, vulnerability, intimacy, just, like, it's just pure. This is just pure, true love. But, but yeah, this person was trying to keep you out of harm's way and they, they realize now that they, they don't know what they could have done differently, but they wish that they had fought for you. Whatever the situation was, whatever it was that they had over them, they would just, they wish, they wish they had fought for you and they want you to know that they've stood up to their toxic uh, father, uncle, whoever this is, they stood up to them now. I'm feeling like they, um... Like maybe they've gotten their own place. Like maybe they were living at home or something and now they've gotten their own place. I feel like they just, they're never going to get over you. Like their heart is broken. Honestly, I would forgive this person. For some, they might not have your contact info anymore. Some of you might have blocked them because you didn't know the situation. Like you didn't realize that they were leaving you. To, like you were heartbroken you were like I see because this is like this is true love this was like your person like this was like your forever person like because I see you like not getting out of bed not wanting to eat like you were like shocked this was like the most this was like the most pain you'd ever been through in your life when this person left and I think at some point like your your mind just shut down it's like you kind of felt like you were going crazy like you couldn't handle the pain um, it was just, it was too intense. Like the love you guys felt for each other is just so beautiful. It's so rare. And I feel like, like maybe you block this person or like they change numbers or you change numbers. Like you kind of just figured they said something to really push you away because they felt like they felt like they had to protect you or they felt like they had to protect themselves or both possibly, you know? this it could be it could be that like you guys were living together and like there you know he was like you know, he was like you know what I want to come out to my father I'm going to go home for the weekend and then he just didn't come back it, it could be something like that is kind of what I'm feeling because I see an airplane um or that could also mean one of you moved away at this point I don't know but I'm feeling like this person might have tried to find you, but like they, they can't, they either can't, like he either can't find you, like you changed addresses or you changed phone numbers or something, or like maybe you, um, let me see what I can get with my cards. Actually, I'm going to pull some of my cards here. Maybe you, um, like, sorry, let me, let me see what I'm channeling here. Maybe they they just don't know if you have a, if they have a chance with you. I feel like you're almost like their unicorn, like you're like their true love, where they've been holding on hope all this time. They never let you go. This is someone that probably cries on you over you on a regular basis. Like they always miss you. They're always they can they everyone that they've dated since you they compare to you. They're like it's never you know what I mean. Like they they've gotten they've gone through long phases of depression over you over how much they missed you, how much regret they have. I would honestly forgive this person just because it's like this person really was doing what they felt like. They felt like they had to protect you or protect themselves. It's not what they wanted. Like they were so in love with you. They were so devastated when they did this. 
they wanted to reach out to you. I feel like they tried to reach out to you and their their father or their, their whoever this man, toxic man was was watching them. And he's like, you send that text. I'm going to beat your ass, boy. Like that kind of like hick energy. Like I'm going to beat your ass, boy. Like that kind of just ill, gross. Ugh. But um, but this person is just like crying right now and like they're probably crying at this moment and they're just telling you like they love you with all their heart like you are their true love. They have so many regrets like they just they just want to be with you right now. They'd probably like marry you within a few months if they could. You know, they, they just, they miss you so much. They want to know how, where your life has gone. They want to tell you how, where their life has gone. You know, they're not the same person you remember. I feel like, I mean, they were a good person before, but I just feel like they were bullied too easily. They were gaslit by this toxic family. I feel like they've branched out on their own though. And you they want you to know that you've changed them. Like you made them a better person. You made them a stronger person. You know, like you gave them something to fight for. They've been fighting all this time to get back to you and to be the person that you deserve. You know, like, they never gave up on you. They never gave up hope. Like, all they want is reconciliation with you. They just, they love you so much. It's such a beautiful energy. But, yeah, some of them don't know how to find you. Like, they're looking for you on, like, Instagram or Facebook or, like, wherever. And it's like they can't, like, you changed your, your info or something. Like, maybe you blocked them because you really felt like, like, okay, maybe that wasn't real or maybe, like... I don't know, like you knew something, like you knew it was real, but maybe they just, I don't know what it would be, but like, they, I'm just getting the sense that they're, 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 they're trying to find you and they can't find you or they're, um, it could be like a situation where they're, um, you know, I'm sorry, when I channel sometimes I'm like, dirt, dirt, there's just so much information that just comes flooding in at once. They're either trying to find you or some of them are just like, you're their unicorn. And so they're so afraid to reach out because they're like, dude, I, like they just feel so much guilt and so much pain and so much regret. And they're just like, would he really ever give me another chance again? Like, would he ever want me back after what I did? Like, he doesn't even know what to say. You know, he just, but he wants to work through things. He, no matter how messy it is, no matter how much you distrust him right now, he wants to work through things. Honestly, and he loves you. He loves you so much. Like, this is, like, this is, you're everything to him. You are his entire world. Like, like, he, you are his safe space. He just dreams, he's just nostalgic. He just dreams about what it was like with you. He knows he can't replace you with anyone else because he's tried and it did not work. He just, it's almost like I would see him, like, going on dates with people and he would, like, go home and he would cry his eyes out. It's like that energy. He would try to force himself to go on a date because it had been a long time since you guys talked. And he would end the date and he would go home and he would just cry himself to sleep because he's like, he's it's like, it's, it doesn't compare to how he felt with you. The love you guys feel is just, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Let's get some messages from him. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity, but I can't. I need answers. Yeah, some of them can't find you. It's like you come off uninterested and detached. There's someone, yeah, they're trying to come back into your life and they're trying to tell you they're going to be, they're going to bring new energy. They're stronger than they were before. They've, they've cut most of their family out. If their family is homophobes, they're not, they're alone right now. Like some of them are like alone, like in a new location, living in their own apartment. Um, maybe like in New York or like a city or something or California. I don't know. Cause I feel like their family is like in suburbs or like farmland or something. And like they're living in. I'm getting like a, like, I think a city or something, or they might go to the woods, like for retreats. I'm feeling I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide my softer. I usually hide it well, but you bring up my softer side, but I'm getting that, that. Yeah. They've, they've stood up like they're, but they're, they're, they're probably alone because they finally cut those people out. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere you, where I know you'd be this. Oh my gosh. You can't even see these. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um oh my gosh this energy i want to know who this is this is so sweet please tell me tell me if this is you because i love this love story i want updates on how this goes for you please yeah some of them they're either like driving by your house or, like, they can't find you. Like, you moved away or something. Or, like, you guys live far away. Like, some of them are planning on just... If they if you have the same address, some of them almost want to just buy a plane ticket and just come see you. I feel you pulling away. I didn't realize what I had till it's gone. I want to be open, honest, vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. You're my safe space, my frequent daydream. 
Sometimes it feels easier to just live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. Yeah, like you guys are like their unicorn. Like they're so, some of them are so scared because they know, they just have you on this pedestal where they're like, this king like deserves the world. Like, do I really deserve him after I couldn't stand up for him and couldn't be the man he needed me to be? Like, they're just praying that you forgive them. Some of them are trying to be perfect for you. Some of them are trying to like get the perfect job and get the perfect house so that they can come to you with this love offer little do they know that you would accept them back just as they are because some of them just moved out and like they're they're like they just want to be perfect for you they're so they're just so i get like a nervousness i just get that they cry over you all the time they might communicate with you telepathically through songs and also through movies like through movie characters and like tv shows that you resonate with sometimes you might if you're watching a certain tv show there might be messages there my guides constantly remind me of you I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. This person, like, loves you so much that they don't think that average is good enough for you. They feel like they have to make a lot of money. They have to have the house. They have to have, you know, the wedding, the engagement ring ready. They they want to come to you with, like, roses or maybe, like, I can hear, like, daffodils or something like that. Like, maybe you have, like, a favorite flower or something that they want to bring you. Um... Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Like, they just love you so much. Something about cats, too. I don't know what what has what this has to do with cats, but... but oh my gosh, this energy is so beautiful. Please just email me and tell me if this is you, because I'm going to cry, and I just... I need updates. I need to know what's going on here. I am glad to go into this, like, more for you for free. I won't even charge you just because I, like... I want to know what's happening here because this is so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put this up. So, um but yeah, they're they're so sorry. Like I I've never channeled someone that's this sorry. I've never channeled someone in this much pain and this much regret. Like this person just this person is pure. So, you know what? Don't don't hurt them. Don't play hard to get. Like this person really they did it to protect you or they did it to protect themselves and they've changed. They really have changed and they love you so much and they want to start a life with you. They're just afraid that by now, like, they know, like, they feel intuitively like this was true love. Like, you probably feel the same way. Like, no matter how much time goes by, you you don't move on. But, like, they don't know for sure. They Some part of them, if you guys haven't talked in a while, they might be worried that you hate them because of how it ended. So, but they, they just, they're so sorry and they love you so much. And they just want to be wrapped up in your arms right now more than anything. Every night they think about you. They long for you. It's just, it's beautiful. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. <clears throat> 